currently out at the Skywalk and then we'll be going to the Nature's Window after this. It's a really hot day, it's about 45 in a minute. So we'll hopefully just go for a walk down there, take a quick look and then we'll head back to the car. But they've closed all the walks in the National Park today just due to the heat. But for now, we're gonna go show you the Skywalk and then we'll show you Nature's Window. So this is Skywalker on at the minute. It's actually making my legs go a little bit. It's a bit funny because I do work at heights a lot, but you can feel it like moving below you. So it's a bit of a weird sensation going right to the edge. You can feel it sort of like flexing underneath you, but it's definitely come check it out. You get some good views. There's wind gusts that just keep coming. Yeah, it's a strong wind gust through here as well. That's the sky walk done, and we're now we're going to go check out nature's window. I'm just about to do nature's window, and it says in the gorge it's nearly 48 degrees. I'm not too concerned about it, but Helen's uh, she, <laughs> she, she, she's not enjoying it too much. And I've just walked past these poor people, and they're all just like dying just of the heat. <laughs> Anyway, we'll show you when we're down there. There's me <laughs> laughing at everyone else going past. There's me coming back, bloody dying. It's so hot. I take my top off, just put it over my head. Oh, see, I think it's nearly 50 degrees now, so yeah, a bit too hot for a walk, that's for sure. <laughs> back in the car. <laughs> now how hot we look. <laughs> oh, oh, mate, that was so hot. Do not do that. <laughs> yeah, when it's nearly 50 degrees, don't go do a walk into a canyon. Oh, but anyway. All part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go to Garrett Park and I really hope there's a pool there. What do you reckon? Oh, there better be. <laughs> yeah, better be a pool. We're just on our second day here at Calbarry. Yesterday we did the National Park where it was so hot. It went up to 50 degrees and today's a bit cooler. It's around 35, 36, which is a bit nicer. Um, but this morning we got up, had a workout, went to the gorgeous cafe and we would recommend going there. It's got coffee. They do milk lab there too, which is good. And next door is a really cute surf shop and Charlie got a shirt there and we just had a quick browse. And then we've just come down to Chinaman's Beach. We came here yesterday as well, but it's really nice. It's where the river mouth meets the sea and it looks like there's a little reef there and people are snorkeling. Um, but yeah, so later on, Charlie's got a mobile mechanic coming to have a look at the back lights because they will stop working. And then we're just gonna have a chill and tomorrow we'll go to Lucky Bay Shacks.
just filled in one of the envelopes with $15 and I've teared off the top to put in the car screen as they say on the instructions and then I'll just pop it in there. So we've just arrived down at Lucky Bay Shacks. Um, I just found a spot that I reckon we'll just use as campsite for the night. The sand on the beach down here is pretty soft. There's some spots are not too bad, but we had to drop the tires quite low just to get up into the dunes a little bit, just to find a camp spot. But behind where we're camping is these sand dunes. So we're just gonna walk up them, have a little look, have a little explore, and then uh, I'll probably just spend the day fishing, I think. <laughs> Come on. The dunes go back a lot further than what we thought, so we're not going to go all the way to the top, but I'm just going to go get the fishing rod out and uh, hopefully catch something. So we're down here at Lucky Bay Sharks, just having a bit of fish. I had something huge smash me a minute ago and just snapped my line, but fingers crossed, get something else. But it's really busy down here, we're actually surprised, it's probably one of the busiest spots we've been on the west coast so far in regards to like beach camping not the actual caravan parks in the town but it's a cool spot you've got this like lagoon like, in front of us it's created a sort of kind of like sheltered spot so everyone's did a bit of water sports and that kind of stuff so yeah that's no, good hopefully catch something what's on the menu today <laughs> tuna wraps <laughs> every day <laughs> <laughs> We're actually only going to do the one night here. We was originally going to do two nights, but we want to get down to Geraldton tomorrow to do a couple of bits and pieces. And then we're going to head out to Sandy Cape and stay there for two nights instead of the one night. But it's been a real good day. We've just been pretty chilled. I've just done a bit of fishing. Helen's just read her book and stuff. And uh, now we're just cooking up a bit of dinner. We've actually just moved the car in uh, behind the dunes a little bit, just a little bit protected. There is a bit of a wind today, but it's not too bad. But it's just a bit better where we are now just for cooking and sleeping later but yeah it's a beautiful spot and you've got the sand dune behind us which gives you a good view and you get a bit of foam reception up there and yeah yeah what's the dinner egg fried rice <laughs> Just down here at Lucky Bay, sun's about to go down in the background. Let's have a last minute fish, see if I can get anything. Had no luck today whatsoever. Well, I did, I had something, something big take my line and snap the line, but after that, absolutely nothing. But things crossed, get sent tonight, and I'll just enjoy the sunset.
we were just on our way to Geraldton and we both looked to the right hand side of us and saw the pink lake at Hut Lagoon but we both for some reason thought it wasn't on this drive but anyway luckily we haven't missed it and so we've just come out to the lookout which is on the other side of the main highway and um, but it's all pink we've been told it's better to come at mid-morning but we're just on our way now so we just thought oh we'll quickly pop down and see what it's like but yeah it's i can't believe how vibrant it is that's the end of this episode we've just had a night at lucky bay shacks and now we're on the way to Geraldton. if you'd like what you've watched please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time